Welcome back to Footy Flicks. In today's video, we'll take a look at some of the best midfielders of 2024, analyzing their recent form and showing you some of their best performances. Midfield positions are very different, and our rankings will be based mainly on the players' importance to their respective teams rather than their stats. Number 10. Nicolo Barella Starting with number 10, we have a truly underrated midfielder from Serie A. Yes, Barella has been one of the best in his position for three or four years now, but nobody seems to be putting him in the conversation. Nico is undoubtedly Inter Milan's best midfielder, and has brought back memories of Esteban Cambiasso and Wesley Schneider at the start of the 2010s. Speaking of those two icons, Barella is actually something of a hybrid between the two. Cambiasso was more of a defensive midfielder, while Schneider was the driving force behind the team as a creator. Well, the fans of the Italian champions have had to wait more than a decade to find a generational talent for years and years to come. Because, rest assured, Barella will be at the Giuseppe Miazza for a very long time. In the five years he has been with the Nerazzurri, Barella has enjoyed plenty of success, winning two Serie A titles, the European Championship with Italy, and reaching the final of the Champions League. Statistically, Barella doesn't have the numbers of the other players on the list, but he doesn't need them to crack the top 10. Number 9. Ilkay Gundogan After winning a treble with Man City in 2023, many thought that Ilkay Gundogan had reached his prime and that it would be unlikely for him to maintain that level for long, especially given his age. However, the German international has done just that, also in impressive fashion moving to struggling Barcelona, where he is undoubtedly the player of the season. Many questioned whether Gundogan would be able to adapt to his new team. Well, he is currently enjoying one of his best individual seasons and is the most prolific creator in the Spanish league. The German is the league leader in chances created, 85, and third in big chances created, at 14. His role at Barca is much bigger than just performing well on the pitch. With his vast experience in European football, he serves as a role model for younger midfielders, such as Pedri and Gavi, who have the potential to reach Gundogan's heights. For now, however, he remains one of the world's most elite midfielders, with 16 goal contributions to his name in all competitions this season. Number 8. Federico Valverde and speaking of La Liga's top midfielders, we can't overlook Real Madrid's engine, Fede Valverde. Like Barella, the Uruguayan is one of those players who doesn't impress with his stats, but has a huge impact on his team's success. Valverde, 25, has been with Real Madrid for six years now, and has been a regular starter for Los Blancos for most of that time. When it comes to analyzing his style of play, he is actually a very rare type of midfielder. His best qualities are dribbling, long passing, and above all, endurance. Yes, it is his stamina that makes him so special for Real Madrid, because it allows him to cover a lot of space, both in defense and in attack. And of course, his best specialty is the long shot. He has a terrific strike from distance and has demonstrated this on a number of occasions, especially in the last two seasons. Number 7. Cole Palmer When we rank the best transfers of the season in a future episode, don't be surprised if we put Cole Palmer in one of the top spots. The 21-year-old who grew up in Man City was bought by Chelsea in the summer for around 45 million euros and has been absolutely fabulous this season. In fact, the attacking midfielder's form has been surprising for a number of reasons. Chelsea have spent millions on new players since American investor Todd Bolly bought the Blues, but very few have lived up to expectations. Palmer is undoubtedly Chelsea's best transfer in the last two years and has taken the Premier League by storm. Palmer never showed his true potential with the citizens, most likely because he was never given the chance. However, since his move to Stamford Bridge, he's become one of the best midfielders in the world, delivering for Chelsea week in and week out. He currently has 36 goal involvements to his name in the 23-24 season, which is an impressive feat. What's more is that no other midfielder in Europe has contributed as much as this this season. Number 6. Martin Udegaard what kind of mentality does it take to overcome the difficulties Martin Odegaard has faced in his career and get to where he is now? Yes, it's been almost 10 years since the Norwegian arrived at Real Madrid as one of Europe's top talents. He spent five seasons with Los Blancos, but was also never given a chance. After several attempts to prove his incredible qualities, Odegaard finally found a home at Arsenal under Mikel Arteta. 
One of the most stylish attacking midfielders in the game, Udegaard has incredible qualities in the final third – creativity, positioning, and a deadly long-range shot. His chemistry with Bukayo Saka has also been what has taken Arsenal to the top over the course of the last three seasons, with the Gunners finally looking like a serious contender for the Premier League title. Individually, he has also been remarkable. His 18 goal involvements this season rank him among the best in Europe, and he might have deserved a place higher up on the list, if not for the next five names who have been even more impressive. Number 5. Kevin De Bruyne Widely regarded as the best midfielder in the Premier League, the Belgian maestro has become synonymous with class during his seven years at Man City under Pep Guardiola. Yes, De Bruyne struggled in the first half of the season, recovering from a severe injury, but since his return in January, he has been back to his usual self. We are all aware of De Bruyne's incredible style of play, so perhaps there's not much point in delving into that part of his profile, but rather on something far more impressive. Looking at his form in 2024 alone, he is the midfielder with the most goal contributions, 9, in the Premier League, only behind Cole Palmer. Yes, during the first few months of the season when he was injured, there were various rumors that he could be sold to Saudi Arabia in the winter. However, despite all the difficulties, De Bruyne came back stronger than ever, again leading Man City's midfield line. Number 4. Florian Wirtz like Barella, Florian Wirtz is another name that definitely deserves more recognition from the footballing community. Yes, maybe the fact that he doesn't play in the Premier League or La Liga keeps him under the radar, but Wirtz definitely put in a performance for the ages in 2023-24. With 38 goals to his name this campaign, Wirtz is one of those players who will be of great interest in the coming transfer windows. At only 20 years old, he's already become a leader for Bayer Leverkusen, and along with the likes of Jeremy Frimpong, Granit Xhaka, Alex Grimaldo, and other excellent players, he has helped the club win their first Bundesliga title just a few weeks ago. And the most positive thing about Wirtz is that he has absolutely everything in his skill set to leave his mark on any team that he plays for. Yes, he is expected to stay at Leverkusen for at least the next two or three seasons, but it's unlikely he'll be able to resist the interest of some of the best clubs in the world like Barcelona or Bayern Munich. Number 3. Declan Rice How quickly times changed in the Premier League. 20 years ago, the debate for the best defensive midfielder was between Patrick Vieira and Roy Keane. Now, it's between two other incredible players, Rodri and Declan Rice. And if we have a clear winner between the two come May 2024, things could change very soon for Rice. Yes, the England international has been playing at the top level of the Prem for over five years now but he has slowly and steadily become one of the best defensive midfielders in the world. At both West Ham and Arsenal, Rice has been incredibly consistent, and there's hardly been a game where he hasn't been at his usual level. What's more, he's not only the Gunners' transfer of the season, he may even be Arsenal's best player in 2023-24. Yes, it cost a fortune to bring Rice to the Emirates, but Arsenal's owners probably won't regret a penny of the £105 million they paid West Ham. He was the missing link between Arsenal's defense and attack that made him so special to Mikel Arteta. And if we had to pick one specific quality in which Rice is the best player in the world, it would undoubtedly be the ball carrying. His stamina allows him to run all game, covering both sides of the pitch for Arsenal. Number 2. Jude Bellingham well, it's hard to find the words to describe his performance this season, but Jude is definitely the man who has shown the world why he's the best young midfielder right now. The fact that he has achieved all of this in his first season at Real Madrid at the age of 19 is astonishing. An incredible footballer who will go on to achieve even greater things in his career. And when we talk about his overall display, we're not just talking about his pure footballing ability. Just take a look at his mentality, the way he speaks to the media, the confidence and charm he exudes. Every time Bellingham is in front of the camera, it's as if he's telling us, I'm here to be the best and you'll see I'm going to be the best. His maturity is extraordinary, but speaking of impact, it's definitely huge. The fact that he scored two late winners against bitter rivals Barcelona in the two La Liga El Clasicos speaks for itself. In all, he has 21 goals and 10 assists in all competitions, and at the moment, he is probably even the biggest favorite for the Ballon d'Or, especially if he wins the Champions League with Real Madrid. 
Number 1. Rodri Yes, from being underrated two years ago, Rodri has quickly become not only the best defensive midfielder in the world, but also the best player in the middle of the park. Without underestimating the likes of Erling Haaland and Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri is currently even the most important player in this Man City side. The best example of this came at the start of the season, when Rodri was suspended for three games after being shown a red card against Nottingham Forest. Well, the citizens sensationally lost all three to Arsenal, Newcastle, and Wolves. Rodri, who has recently been described as City's midfield metronome, is crucial for the club, and could even reach the heights of another iconic Spanish midfielder with a very similar style of play, Sergio Busquets. Although he plays as a defensive midfielder, Rodri is also an attacking force for his team. Just think of the important goals against Sheffield United, Aston Villa, and the two against Chelsea that gave Man City a total of six points in the title race. A truly remarkable midfielder. But what do you guys have to say? Do you think we should have included somebody else on this list? We can, of course, make a part two on this topic. So, do tell us in the comments section who do you want to see in the coming episodes. Also, if you enjoyed this video, go and check out our last ranking, where we talked about the best defenders in the world. Catch you next time, right here on Footy Flex.